Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. And I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you press that bell and select all so you will receive all of my future postings. So over here in Virginia, on this chilly day, I'm sitting here just longing for spring to pop up and greet me with some much needed fresh life. Looking onto my back patio, my garden pots are empty, but still look beautiful with all their seasoned moss growing around the sides. This is what reminded me of my candle stands, the very stands I have been wanting to paint for quite some time. If you don't mind, I would like to take you all along with me today as I create for the very first time moss candle stands. Let's sit back and enjoy. Enjoy brush strokes as we let our minds wander into a land of whimsy. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? So we are going to be starting using this acrylic paint. It is fresh olive. It was purchased from Michaels. And I thought the, this was a nice green for moss. And inside the bowl, it's just baking soda. Now there's many videos out there that have the baking soda paint tutorials in them. And me being so impatient, I didn't want to take the time to watch any. I just knew to mix these two ingredients. So here we go. <laughs> so I put in a cup of baking soda because I knew I wanted a really chunky moss look. And this being my first time, I didn't realize that <laughs> I I used too much baking soda is what happened with this, but I didn't know. I'm a newbie, guys. <laughs> so this is nice and, and mixed through. I just added a little bit more paint to it. So really, all you would need is like a half a cup of baking soda and one to one and a half bottles of paint if you were doing if you were doing a larger project project and wanted the thick consistency like I did now you I'm just using a round brush nothing fancy at all and on these candle stands there's a lot of like, like a teal color or some might call it aqua. Um, that is, it is a very pretty color palette, but it's just not one that um, I use inside my home. So I knew that I wanted just to focus on this color on the candle stands. So I'm just gonna keep dabbing the mixture onto the teal color. I don't, I don't know, maybe you guys have a, a better name for it, teal, aqua. And I'm just putting on just a nice thick layer. I don't too much want to cover uh, the brown because I really like it. I just want to get the other color nice and covered. I found these candle stands at a boutique in North Carolina. They were actually going out of business and so I purchased these on clearance. Now 
Now I'm going to work on the bottom and just go down the sides and along the bottom edges. For any of you that might have a project out there that you want to add some moss to, I highly suggest this. It was so therapeutic, so enjoyable to work with. And again, I'm just really trying to put on a good, thick, chunky layer of the green. The brush, as you see, I had to wipe it off because working with the baking soda, it really builds up in, inside the brush. And it dries quite quickly after you put it on, which is nice because sometimes we have those projects where it takes forever for the paint to dry before we can start the next technique. Just look how this green is just really starting to take its shape on this candle stand. It's truly beautiful. And again, if you don't want it as chunky, you just want a thick, uh, I mean a thin layer, just don't use as much baking soda and make your mixture a little bit um, more runny, I guess. Look at the difference. Absolutely love it. But now we're gonna go with another layer. And this is truffle paint by Waverly. I purchased it from Walmart. And I just got a very, <laughs> this brush has definitely seen better days, but just a, a fan shaped brush. And I'm just going to dab a little paint on and then take off excess by dabbing it onto the napkin. And I'm just going to touch here and there with the brush to add the brown because I want to give it more of a natural look because when we look at mosses, we also do see the brown, the earth inside the moss. So you just touch it all here and there. It get, it's just to your liking. As you can see, the more I add, it just, it's really warming this piece up. I actually wish I had more that I could work with. But for right now, I just have these two candle stands. I really just wanted to take you all through this, you know, the whole process, start to finish, from the top of the candle stand to the bottom. I didn't want to miss any steps. And I hope you all are enjoying the transformation as much as I am. And this type of, of decor can actually go in a French country home. It can go in a farmhouse. It could even go into a Tuscan. It can definitely works with boho for sure. just working my way around the piece. I 
And again, it dries so quickly. This was a huge surprise for me. I had no idea it was gonna work its way out like this. So now I have all of the brown applied and I just want to make things, look at that brush, there is quite a bit on there. And I'm just really gonna place it on all over the place here and there because I want a nice, chunky, moss feel and look to it. You just dab it around and if by chance you put too much on, just wipe it off. I really wanted these pieces to look very earthy. Now I just think to myself, what creatures live underneath the moss? They have their own little land. <laughs> 